So with lockdown upon us, we're all staying home, alone. Here are three videography lights that you can use to up your online meeting game. Now let's be honest, that webcam glass isn't doing you justice, but adding just a splash of light will go a long way. I'm gonna be showing you three different type of lights that are quite common with photographers. We chose lights which are super affordable and you probably have laying around anyway. Here are my top three video lights for your online meetings. First, we have the Lumi Bicolor. I've been in love with these little lights ever since I first saw them, and I always keep one or two around me. They're bicolor, so they fit all kinds of lighting, everything from incandescents to fancy office lights. They're not the brightest of the three options, but they do require no mounting gear. You can simply wrap them around your phone or lean them on a computer monitor. Basically, you can put them just about anywhere. If you're feeling extra crazy, you can even magnetize them to the top of your monitor. Next up, we have the Lytra Torch 2.0. The torch is definitely the brightest of the bunch. In fact, it may be too bright if you're using it from a very close distance, even on its lowest setting. On the other hand, it will give you some nice light even in brighter locations. Just don't look directly into the light. There are three levels of lighting on the torch, but I rarely had to go beyond one. As far as mounting goes, it has a small tripod hole on the bottom, so you can put it on a small gorilla pod or something or just use a phone clampy thingy with a small screw. The back is also magnetic, so if you can find anything with the right height, you're golden. Last up, we have the Alpha Home. Okay, this isn't exactly a photography light per se, but I saw this on Caleb Pike's channel and I ended up getting one because they're just so cheap. The light quality isn't as high as the other two video lights, but for Zoom calls, it's gonna be enough. This is the kind of light that you can simply put on your desk and start with the touch of a button. Literally, just a touch of a button. Super fancy. You can then control the intensity with a long press and move between daylight, tungsten, and somewhere in between with just another touch of the button. Here are the three lights compared when using a webcam. So let's talk pricing. The Lytra Torch is currently going for $89.95, the Lumi is $45, and the Alpha Home is $18.99 under a bunch of different brands. The Alpha Home is a great choice if you're going to be using this light for conferencing only. It's cheap, it's bi-colored, and it's a strip, which gives a nice look. It would have been great if it came with a standard USB though, instead of a weird plug. But other than that, it's a great conferencing choice. The Lytra Torch is the most expensive one, but it's built like a tank, and when you finish your meetings, you will definitely find other places to put it to use again. Plus, it's the smallest of the bunch. Last, but certainly not least, the Lumis. While they aren't the brightest of the bunch, the amount of times I find myself using them is crazy. They're such a versatile light, and they're so easy to use. So that wraps up today's video. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, and consider subscribing for some more awesome content and news. I'm Adam Frimmer from DIYPhotography.net, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. No